It's the Black Upstart. Black people 1.3 trillion dollars. It's the Black Upstart. The city and make your own community and make your own businesses rich. Forgiven. 
There is a second separate program that is different than the Paycheck Protection Program called the Economic Injury Disaster Loan that has a cash advance, okay? Subscribe to it. You apply for that benefit through the U.S. Small Business Administration. That is totally separate than the Paycheck Protection Program, okay? You can apply for the Paycheck Protection Program for a forgivable loan and separately you can apply for the Economic Injury Disaster Loan and Cash Advance. If you were in one of our previous lives, I described that a cash advance was equivalent to also a grant, okay? Third, the third benefit for those people who did not start their business before January 30th, 2020, and in some instances February 15th, 2020, I have also educated folks about the $25 billion that will be available through community development financial institution. That is a third benefit. Okay, so it's important to know that there are three benefits, and if you are eligible, you can apply for all three of them. Okay? Tonight, we're just going to be talking about the Paycheck Protection Program. All right? So let's keep going. The second thing you must know is, are you eligible? All right? Are you eligible to receive this particular benefit? I want to talk to those entrepreneurs who have no employees. And I'm going to run through three different types of entrepreneurs who should be looking for the Paycheck Protection Program. The first is a sole proprietor. A sole proprietor can be someone who registered a business name with the state, so that is DBA, doing business as a business name, but you have not filed paperwork to be a limited liability company, you have not filed paperwork to be an S corporation or a C corporation. Okay, when you do business, you do business under your social security number. You qualify for the Paycheck Protection Program, okay? Let's keep going. Number two, <laughs> if you are a single member LLC, which means you did file your LLC, LLC paperwork, but you are the only owner on that paperwork. So if you filed your paperwork through Rocket Lawyer, if you filed your paperwork through, I don't know what other, list some of them in the comments, but Rocket Lawyer is one of them. If you filed your paperwork through Rocket Lawyer, then guess what? You know, you listed yourself as an owner, you are the only person, you are the only member of your LLC, you can qualify for this, okay? Third, all right, the third category of people who are, who are definitely eligible for this, Independent contractors. So that means you, your, your tax paperwork will be a 1099. So if you are a 10, thank you, legal zoom. Thank y'all. Y'all always come to the clutch. So thank you. I was gonna say Rocky Order Legal Zoom. Thank y'all. I love y'all. Now the third one is an independent contractor. So if you are a 1099, all right, so if you are a 1099 contractor, you are eligible for the you may be eligible for a paycheck protection program for giveable loan. Okay? So 1099, if you drove for Uber, right? You think you can drive in a car. What are you doing? You drive a business, honey? Because it's a 1099, guess what they're not giving you? They're not giving you paid time off. They're not giving you no vacation. They're not giving you any retirement. As an independent contractor, what they're saying is, we're going to pay you for the work that you do, and that's it. Right? It's compensation for the work that you execute. So if you drove Instacart, if you drove, um, if you drove Instacart, if you drove Uber, if you drove Lyft, if you, um, well, those are the top three, all right? If you were independent contractor with any of those companies, if you qualify, how do you know you want to look at your tax paperwork and it says 10.99, okay? So I want you to keep that in mind. Now, one other thing that I've been seeing on my consulting calls is there were some individuals who were independent contractors with their employers, and then when the first PPP dropped, your employer decided to switch you to a W-2. They may have switched you to a W-2 for two months so they could get the benefit of the PPP without making you aware. Again, that's all about understanding how the government operates. And then perhaps the third or fourth month, they switch you back to an independent contractor. It's important for you to understand that. Because when you're calculating your benefit, essentially what happened is if your employer, right, or the person paying you, pays you as an independent contractor for six months, a W-2 for two months, and then for the remainder of the year as an independent contractor, the months that you are on the W-2, you cannot, you cannot count. This is the language of wealth people. The folks who said, 
will not use any of my money to fund you benefits, but I will use your labor to get Paycheck Protection Program money and may or may not compensate you for the benefit that was funded by your tax dollars. So you want to have a transparent conversation with whoever is paying your 1099 to make sure that at no point they put you on a W-2. And if they did, one, go get your money. All right, make sure that they paid you. So let's start there. Go get your money because the government paid them to keep you on payroll. So that means you, you were on payroll when they switched you to a W-2. And make sure that you're sure about the months that you work as an independent contractor. This is true for people who are in the construction industry. So you may get a contract with a construction agency. They call you up, right? You do work for, for a few hours that day. They may, may not call you the next day. The work in construction is intermittent. When the first Paycheck Protection Program stimulus dollars was released and they realized that if they had payroll instead of independent contractors, they could get more money, then they said, okay, independent contractors, for this particular week, we're going to put you on payroll. And they may or may not have paid you for the full 40-hour week. Have a conversation. Go get your money, all right? Tell